hello and welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to focus on the constant function as well as the step function so let's start off with the constant function so a constant function is a function that has the same range for different values of the domain a constant function can be represented graphically as a straight line that is parallel to the x-axis. Now, a constant function can be expressed mathematically as f of x equals k, where k is a constant. Where k is a constant. Notice that f of x remains as k, irrespective of the value of x. So what this primarily means is that the value of x can change. However, f of x still remains as k. Now since this function, that is the constant function, is defined for all values of x, the domain of a constant function is the set of all real numbers that is from negative infinity through to positive infinity. And the range of a constant function is given as the set that contains the single element that is k now let's take a typical example so a typical example of a constant function is the function f of x equals 1 now to represent this function graphically we are going to have the x-axis and the y-axis Let's mark this as 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. On the y-axis, we have 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, and then we have negative 1, negative 2 on the x-axis. Now let's think of this function as y equals 1, and let's compare that to the equation of a straight line which is given as y equals mx plus c now comparing these two equations you realize that this function does not have a gradient neither does it have an x value so we can say that c is equal to one now c is called the y intercept what this primarily means is that we are going to have a straight line which cuts through 1 on the y-axis. So let's mark 1 on the y-axis and that is the point 0, 1. Next, we are going to draw a straight line that cuts through 1 on the y-axis which is parallel to the x-axis. So this is the line y equals 1. This is the line y equals 1. Now let's try to find out the domain and range of this function. So the domain of this function is equal to... Now we want to find out the least x value. So the least x value is going to be negative infinity because this line continues on and on and on to the left. So that is negative infinity infinity and then the greatest x value is positive infinity so that is the domain of this function now also for the range the range of this function is given as the set that contains the single element one so to find the domain of a function you want to focus on the x-axis Whereas, if you want to find the range of a function, then you want to focus on the y-axis. Now, looking at the y-axis, the only value we have on the y-axis is 1. Therefore, the range is the set that contains the single element 1. So, this is the domain of the function and this is the range of the function. So, that is that with the constant function. Now, let's move on to the step function. So a step function 
is a function that increases or decreases suddenly from one constant value to another. So an example of a step function is the function f of x equals 2 where x is less than or equal to negative 4 f of x equals 1 where negative 4 is less than x is less than or equal to 0 and then f of x is equal to negative 1 where 0 is less than x is less than or equal to 2 so here we have the individual constant functions f of x equals 2 f of x equals 1 and then f of x equals negative 1 and then we have these to be the constraints for each individual constant function so we can think of these constant functions as y equals 2 y equals 1 and then y equals negative 1 so how do we graph this step function and what is the domain and range of this function so first of all let's draw the xy plane we have this to be the y axis the x axis 0 1 2 3 4 we have negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 negative 5 on the y-axis we have 1 2 3 and then negative 1 negative 2 and so on and so forth now for the first constant function which is f of x equals 2 or better still y equals 2 now let's compare this function y equals 2 to the equation of a straight line which is giving us y equals mx plus c now comparing these two functions or these two equations you realize that we have no value for the gradient which is m neither do we have any value for x therefore c which is the y intercept is equal to 2 so we have c equals 2 now what this primarily means is that we are going to have a straight line that is going to cut through 2 on the y-axis so that is the function f of x equals 2 so let's draw dotted lines cutting through 2 on the y-axis and then we have a constraint which is x is less than or equal to negative 4 so focusing on the x-axis we have this to be negative 4 and then less than or equal to negative 4 means we are moving to the left so we have 2 negative 4 now this is x is less than or equal to negative 4 which means that negative 4 is actually part of the set so we are going to draw a closed circle at this point which is at negative 4 so always this value is the y value and then what we have here is going to be the values of x so x is less than or equal to negative 4 this is negative 4 and then less than or equal to negative 4 means we are moving to the left so this is f of x equals 2 where x is less than or equal to negative 4 now let's move on to the second function so that is f of x equals 1 where negative 4 is less than x is less than or equal to 0 so let's take that as y equals 1 so y equals 1 also means that we are going to have a straight line that is going to cut through 1 on the y-axis and the constraint is negative 4 is less than x is less than or equal to 0 so on the x-axis this is negative 4 and then since it is negative 4 less than it means that negative 4 is actually not part of the set so we just represent that 
with an open circle and then we move on through to zero where we have x is less than or equal to zero so it means zero is part of the set so we are going to represent that with a closed circle now because the function is f of x equals one that is why the line is cutting through one on the y-axis so we are going to have this to be the straight line and that is the graphical representation of the second function now let's move on to the third that is y equals negative one so also we have dotted lines cutting through negative one on the y-axis and the constraint is zero is less than x is less than or equal to two so on the x-axis we have this to be zero so zero less than x so it means we are going to draw an open circle and then x less than or equal to two this is two and then we are going to draw a closed circle so this is the graphical representation of this step function now let's try to find the domain and range of this step function so for the domain we are going to consider each individual constant function so for the first one f of x equals 2 where x is less than or equal to negative 4 we are going to focus on this now the least x value is negative infinity because this continues on and on to the left and the greatest x value is going to be negative 4 now negative 4 is part of the set so we have negative 4 and a closed bracket now for f of x equals 1 we have the constraint to be negative 4 is less than x is less than or equal to 0 so we focus on this now the least x value is negative 4 which is not part of the set so it is an open bracket negative 4 and then the greatest x value is 0 which is part of the set so with a closed bracket now to the last one which is f of x equals negative 1 0 is less than x is less than or equal to 2 we have the least x value to be 0 which is not part of the set and the greatest x value to be 2 which is part of the set therefore the domain of this function is we have negative infinity to negative 4 union negative 4 to 0 union 0 to 2 now the least x value is negative infinity and the greatest x value is 2 so this is the domain of this step function now to the range also considering each individual constant function for the first function we have the y value to be 2 so that is a single element in the set union for the second function we also have the only y value to be 1 also a single element 1 union for the third we have negative 1 as the only y value which is also a single element therefore the range of this function is negative 1 1 2 so these are the range and domain of this step function now let's consider a function say g of x which looks similar as f of x so let's say this time we have g of x equals 2 where x is less than or equal to negative 4 g of x equals 1 where negative 4 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 0 we have g of x equals negative 1 where 0 is less than x is less than or equal to 2 now let's consider the fence function you realize that we have g of negative 4 okay 
because negative 4 is part of the set so that's going to be x is less than or equal to negative 4 is negative infinity to 4 where 4 is part of the set now for the second function we have the interval to be negative 4 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 0 and that is negative 4 being part of the interval or the set and then 0 also being part of the set so this is for that and then this is also for that you realize that we have g of negative 4 considering the first one equals 2 negative 4 is part of the set and that is equal to 2 and then we also have g of negative 4 which is also equal to equal to 1 so g of negative 4 considering the first function equals 2 and then g of negative 4 considering the second function also equals 1 now you realize that this these two are two conflicting functions therefore g of x cannot be a function g of x cannot be a function so you need to take notice of the domain and range of each individual function they should never conflict so that's it for today's video Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Now in the next video, we are going to focus on piecewise functions.